you wreath. I'm going to show you items that you'll need. You're going to need a little miniature wreath. You can see that. A little miniature wreath. Your glue gun. Your scissors. Some Mod Podge. You're going to need a little silhouette of the shoe. Now, I took and I drew the silhouette on the foam board because I always test out you know, whatever it is I'm making because, of course, I'm going to take and I'm going to cut it, you know, out of um, some wood on, you know, my uh, machine and stuff. But I started out with this so I can test it and see how it will come out. You're going to need your little string of pearls, some lace, some lace fabric or fabric of your choice, and some little embellishments. You know, I have a brooch. I don't know if I'm going to use all these, but this is what I'm starting out with. So, let's get started so you can see how this will turn out. And, of course, you're going to need the flowers. Sorry about that. You're going to need the flowers. Okay, so let's get started. I mean, this was the inspiration for her... Uh, centerpieces because this is for a bridal shower that she's having but you know this is a picture she brought me that she hangs in her room so like I said I had put it on the board and you know not to make this video too long this is how it's looking can you see the little glittery can you see the glittery because I took and I, uh, you know, I put the, um, after I cut it out, I put the lace on it. I put the, um, Mod Podge, glued it with the Mod Podge, which gives it the little sparkle. Because this is the sparkle Mod Podge that, uh, you get from, uh, Walmart. And I took and I trimmed it, you know, with the little pearls. I glued it around with the pearls. So, we're going to take and do the reef. Now, the reef I took and I put some little, you know, chicken wire in between the middle to fill it in. So, you know, it won't fall through. And you're going to take your heel and stick it through there like this. Let me do this this way. You're going to stick it through the bottom and the top. So, it'll sit like this and of course you're going to poke a hole through the top of the uh, shoe so you can attach it to that and our colors were pink and white so you know well I think and I stick my flowers so I won't be you know looking for them all over the place these are going to be her flowers that she's going to use Okay, so, got your glue gun hot, and you're just going to take it because I'm going to leave a space, so it's going to be right here in between here, and take your flowers, you're going to put the hot glue on them, go around, because like I said, I'm trying not to make this video that long, stick it on there. We're going to cut the wires with the flower stems, you know, when I finish and stuff. So you just alternate the colors to fill it in. It sticks really fast. You know, go around and around. You don't need that much of hot glue. I'm not going to say really that much, but... It's a very quick stick them in between there. Look how cute that's coming out. Oops. Oh, that is hot. So like I said, it's going to be pink and white. There was a pink on this side. in there. Uh-oh. This 
the things like touching my finger. Let me burning up your fingers and stuff. You know. Another one. Sick of dare. So I'm going to come back when I filled all this in and show you how to hook the shoe and everything on it. So give me a moment. I'll be back. That's, uh, it's all filled in. I placed the shoe where I want it. And because it's cardboard, because like I said, I'll be cutting this out of wood on my wood cutter. I took and I used the knife, you know, and poked a hole in the back of there and uh, put the zip tie through. And you're going to, you know, to hold it in place. Cut this. And down like that and it's going to look like that so it won't come out because for this shoe I took in I um I hooked it right in between here because like I said we're using a miniature wreath I hooked it right in between these two because you know it's only one two three go slip it right in between there and you have it like this like the back like I said I'm going to use wood before the back. I'm going to use the same material, this lace, as the shoe. And I'm going to take and I'm going to Mod Podge this. Use a Mod Podge once again so I can make it stiff, to be really stiff. And um, glue it on the back of here. You take your little bitty. If you have a little bitty hot glue gun, and you're going to trace it, you know, put the glue around little by little in order to stick that down there. And the back will be covered. But for the last little embellishment, where is it? Because she likes pearls and everything, we're going to take and we're going to place this right here at the top of the shoe just like the picture I showed you so and watch your fingers because these glue guns get really hot really really hot and look at that and there you have it. These are cute. Now you could also use, you know, a bigger wreath. Like I said, we're using a miniature wreath because these will be sitting on her tables for her bridal shower. You use a bigger wreath because I have also, I have one, you know, I've used the bigger one to hang it on the wall and things like that. But this is the end result. So happy crafting hope you enjoyed this beautiful shoe reef ah, there and there you go all nicely covered up and this is it I gotta get some of these little flyaways off of here. And there you have it. The back is stiff. Stick it on there. And there is your reef. So, I hope you enjoyed this. DIY shoe reef. I mean, leave me a thumbs up, comment, share, and as always, don't forget to subscribe 
and ring that bell so you won't miss another DIY. Bye, everyone.